Hi, my name is Anne Glass. I'm a reading and learning specialist at a private school in New York City, and I work with kindergartners through third graders on reading, word study, and writing skills. In addition to being a reading specialist and a learning specialist, I'm also a parent, and today I'm going to talk to you about topics in reading. Phonics refers to the paired associations between sounds and spoken language and letters. It represents the overlap between two areas that I've already talked about today, one being alphabet knowledge and the other being phonemic awareness. If you overlap phonemic awareness and alphabet knowledge, their merger is phonics. It's basically making the connection between sounds and spoken language and how you represent them in written language. Phonics also refers to a method of reading instruction um, in which uh, orthographic spelling patterns and decoding skills are explicitly and systematically taught with repeated practice. Children need to be explicitly taught uh, spelling rules and orthographic patterns because English, 90% um, of the time, is a phonetically regular language. And so if we teach children what those paired correspondences are between letters and sounds, then they are going to be better equipped to spell the words that they want to write and read unfamiliar words that they encounter in text. Explicit instruction in sound symbol correspondences is so foundational to uh, word level reading and should not be overlooked. When students encounter unfamiliar words, they should have at their disposal a vast supply of strategies with which they can attack that word. It's never enough to suggest to a student to guess at the word based on the initial letter and context clues or a picture. Um, guessing is what we do when we have inefficient strategies. And so if we have prepared our students with phonics rules, then there will be no need to guess at words.